Now, in order to use Photoshop, you need to be aware of it's not just a matter of clicking things with the mouse, it's also using the keyboard. It is a two-handed operation, and in order to make things go as quickly as possible, I want to introduce you to the very fundamental keystrokes. Now, I'm going to be giving you a lot of shortcut keys over the course of the next four hours or however long this ends up being. The keystrokes that I'm giving you, the shortcut keys that I'm giving you in this video are the ones that you absolutely, absolutely need to know. All the other ones are icing, but these are the ones that you'll be using like every single minute of using Photoshop. So before I do that, let's add in an image just to make this a little bit more interesting. So I'm just going to add in a sand dune right here, press enter. So there we go. All right, so let me show you the various shortcuts. The first shortcut that I want you to know is control minus. If I hit control and then minus, we're able to zoom out. Zoom out is control minus. You'll notice that I have it showing up on the screen right here. That's just a little program I have to make it easier for you. Control plus allows us to zoom in. So there we go, zooming out and zooming in. Spacebar, if you click and hold down the spacebar, you can pan around the image. Got it? Hold down spacebar, click, and pan. If you hit control zero, you can have the canvas fit to your screen. So if I zoom out a bunch and then I hit control zero, it all fits to my screen. Same if I zoom in, I ban around a bunch, control zero fits to my screen. Let's say that I move this uh, a little bit around and I decide, oh, I want it in the center. Control Z undoes that action. So Control Z undoes and redoes. And in fact, let me give you a few, uh, few shortcut keys that you probably already know, but are good to know just in set case. Uh, Control A selects all. Control C copies. Control V pastes. So you'll notice we have two of this image right now. So if I were to press Control A, and then Control X cuts, and then Control V still pastes. So we have Control C for cut, Control C for copy, Control V for paste, Control A for select all, and Control X to cut. So if you want to see all of those listed right here, all you need to do is go into edit and you can see paste, copy, cut. Now I imagine, and undo, I imagine a lot of you, if you've been using Word or any programs like that, already know those few shortcut keys. Uh, and those shortcut keys right there, just those seven or eight I just told you, those are the majority of shortcut keys you'll be using in Photoshop. So learn them. Control plus, control minus, control zero, space bar to pan around, Control Z to undo, Control A to select all, Control C to copy, Control V to paste, and Control X to cut. Let me throw you one more shortcut and then we'll move on to actually creating something in Photoshop. So the last one that I want to show you is the shortcut key F. Not Control F, not Alt F, just pressing the button F. If you press it, you change your screen mode. And what I mean by that is you go from it looking like this to if you hit F twice to it looking like this. Now I tell you this for two reasons. One, if all of a sudden you're looking at your screen and you have no idea what you just did because your screen is looking like that, where are my windows, where is everything, it's probably because you accidentally hit F. So that just changes your screen mode right there. The other, other reason I tell you it is because I really like using the button F. So I'm gonna tell you that right from the start. One more, one more shortcut key, tab. If you accidentally hit tab, or if you purposefully hit tab, it gets rid of all of your palettes, all of your tools. So if all of a sudden your tools and your palettes disappear, it's probably because you hit tab. So those are the major shortcut keys that you wanna know just right off the bat. Let's actually start creating an image.